Jerry, you mentioned nitrogen and and obviously fixation with it with it being a legume and and uh, Mark, you touched on it as well. So, what are the requirements for nitrogen for for some of these pulses? What are they uh, What are they using, and and how do we make sure that we balance the fact that hey, it might need some, or it's going to fix its own? Mark, do you want to answer? Do you want? Uh, I'll use lentils as an example. Uh, the lentil removal probably on about a 30 bushel crop is around 70 pounds of actual N. And so it, most producers now are, have got the small reds that they're planting and 75 to 80 bushels seems to be a talk now. And, and so if you need a 70 pounds for a 30 bushel crop, you, you need some serious amount of nitrogen to grow the big small red lentil crops and so you know it it's even getting explored is am i fixing enough nitrogen i'm talking as a plant for the the yield potential and there has been exploring of do i add a little bit of nitrogen in my little starter blend before before i get any risk of seed safety or something is there a potential for that because that is a, it is a big demand nitrogen crop and it has to have it. It won't set seed without its own fixation. Yeah, you know, I was just, as you were talking those numbers, Jerry, I've just got a handy chart here sitting next to me and I was quickly looking what an uptake would be. And I think it's about, yeah, two and a half or 2.75 pounds of nitrogen per bushel for, for peas. So, I mean, that's why we rely so heavily on those nodules to be fixing that nitrogen efficiently because that, that gets to be quite costly to get that much nitrogen down for a pulse crop. Um, but I know there's definitely instances where those nodules might not be um, fixing as efficiently as they should be, super cold, uh, if it's too wet, too dry. I mean, they, they need oxygen, they need moisture to survive and, and do their job efficiently for that plant. So if we do start to see any kind of those stresses on those nodules, that's where we might need to look at applying some nitrogen in season. Uh, I agree, some starter nitrogen, usually when it comes with the phosphorus source that we're using, uh, I find that's usually enough as a starter to just get it going, make sure there's some available, but I usually try to rely on those nodules as much as possible. Uh, Jerry, oh, go ahead, Mark, you can, you can. Yeah, no, I was just going to say the, the conversation around uh, nitrogen that, that comes up a lot. I've done a lot of uh, experimenting and entering into conversation around uh, uh adding nitrogen to a pulse crop and a lot of people feel that that's not necessary but um, when we look at two crops in particular um well i could argue three but we'll pick on peas and lentils um they're, they're quite lazy uh nitrogen fixers they're going to take the path with least resistance um if they have available nitrogen they're going to use it long before they're going to sacrifice energy currency to feed a, a bacteria so it's important to to recognize that and then of course you know like allison said it starting up with some nitrogen um, there's there's a few weeks before actual um, fixation occurs and actual contributions of nitrogen credits to the plant so having that nitrogen there and I've also pushed the opportunity there to that's where we could insert some sulfur um, in there as well and there's some nitrogen that comes with uh, the sulfur as well so that's another great way along with the phosphorus a uh, little bit of nitrogen that comes there it's a great way to uh, kind of build that starter uh, to get that nitrogen off but I have done work with in season application of nitrogen on on like high yield environment pulses um, which have proven to be very effective which goes to show there's a serious demand for the nutrient uh, if the crop uh, yield environment is growing uh, like Allison mentioned you know very tall stands uh, have the opportunity to seed uh, to set lots of seed but if there's not enough nitrogen which is you know this is where analytics can come in this is where experience comes in to to kind of justify uh, making sure that these uh, this, this bigger crop can can handle the uh, to handle that yield environment we got to give it more nutrition and if we have to give it nitrogen it's not a failure of nodulation it's just this is the demand by the crop and and uh, kind of tried true and tested and experienced uh, methods uh, need to step in sometimes mm -hmm. 